what is up everybody it's your man jt and i am back for another quarantine video <laughs> i think we're what are we on day three day four something like that ah well who knows but today we're gonna focus on something that's actually really cool and that is the multi-action folder usage on the stream deck how to integrate that with your obs or slobs because they're essentially the same and the advantages of what they can do for you so what you'll notice right here is this is my main screen on my stream deck and I kind of maneuver a lot of the things that I have with multi-action folders so that way you don't have to go back and click 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 to get things to work you just press one button and it happens all right so and this is a brief example of it so all these titles and all these other things they do separate things when I actually go in these are regular folders and then multi-action folders would be something like my scenes, my movies, and when you go and click on, say, a movie, it has multiple things inside of it. So today, we're going to create a multi-action folder that you yourself can use. Find a blank spot that you have on your stream deck in any one of these sources. Right-click on the box itself, click Create Multi-Action Folder. You don't have to name it, don't have to put a picture on it just yet. What you can do is, now left click on the right arrow this will give you the opportunity to use any one of the plugins that are on the right hand side of your stream deck menu <clears throat> as you can see it activates and uses things from the actual stream deck itself the system in which you're operating and then a host of other plugins that you may have installed or softwares that you use as well so today, I've already created a tester scene. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm working inside of OBS because that's what I wanted to use. All right, so I'm gonna go here from OBS Studio, drag over the scene. I already have everything set up. So I'm gonna click and for this scene, it's gonna be test scene one. Now, what I want you guys to realize is this. What you can see here is app chat, desktop audio, mod mic, sure, stream and Xbox two out of the six of those things are muted but for the test we're going to actually go ahead and mute the desktop audio as well so we're going to instruct our folder to do that so let's go you'll take some mixer audio from it add it over to the other side and i wanted to deactivate that so we're deactivating the desktop audio so that's what will happen now inside of that tester scene I have some screen capture so you guys can see what I'm doing one of the screen captures is my left monitor which is uh, in Q and then the right one is actually Visio so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a source because I only want you guys to see the Visio so I'm gonna deactivate my source here and I think where is it? I know I sent you in here somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. What we do is go to test scene one and we're gonna deactivate the BenQ. So when I open that page up, it's only going to bring up what you can see on my right hand side, which is where my Visio is, okay? Now, I wanted to do something else. So I'm gonna go in here to my system. I also wanted to open up a website. All right, let's go google.com. Let's see if I get this thing work. All right, google.com is what's gonna open up here when I press that button. I don't think I needed to do anything else. Um, I don't need it to go to a particular place or anything like that. I'm gonna circle back and show you some other folders that I have set up already, and then you'll see why that's actually really important. Now, if I just wanted to add like Mixer Chat or something like that, I could do that put this right inside here and then it, when I hit that it's a going to screenshot whatever I want to program it to and all of those things would happen with the press of one button all right so now that we have that we're gonna go back movies this is the thing here and so we're gonna go test one all right we have titled it and now we're gonna use it now I'm gonna go here to the screen capture because what will happen is inside that screen capture actually you know what this is on my bin Q side so let's go back in here instead of deactivating the bin Q we need to deactivate the Visio so it can show you that so that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna press the button for test one what do you see boom right away desktop audio goes away 
it is now muted and you guys can see all of that in the real time source so i'm going to go back into my screen cap which you will then be able to see the desktop audio activate in itself by the way i want to show you this the google did open over here that's what i told it to do now if i go to screen cap and then I go back, you'll see another tab is opened inside of Google. Look at that. It's the first one. That's the second one. So it is working properly for what you need it to do. Now I'm going to go back to my screen cap. All right, here, what you guys will be able to see on me, I do like movie transitions and stuff like that, so I have some things there. But you can add as many of those things as you want. I, I'm not sure that there's a limit on it. I haven't found one yet, but I'm not sure how many you may need. So say on my movies here, I have this five. Yeah. So what happens is when I go into a little commercial break, it brings up the little movie clip. It, it deactivates the music from my stream deactivates the app chat deactivates the desktop audio which is where my alerts come from and then it also deactivates the xbox chat so in reality what happens here and let's add another one we're going to deactivate the short sm7b and if this other one is going going to deactivate the mod mic as well so when I press this button in the stream, the only thing you guys will hear will be the audio from the source. That's it. So if my friends are talking, if I'm talking, it immediately goes away and it becomes more of a commercial break, more like this. Tell me a story. <laughs> Which one? The story of home. Mid yeah, so that's just kind of something that you can do to kind of spice in, uh, I'm sorry, spice up and liven up the stream that you have. If you guys have any questions, I hope this helped. Specifically for those who want to use multi-action folders, this thing is endless. I'm going to be doing a few more videos on it and dropping some of those things. If you got something you want to know about, like, comment, and subscribe, and then put your comment in the bottom. That comment in the bottom, but you got to like, comment, and then subscribe. Comment goes in the bottom. <laughs> All right, guys, this is JT, and I'm out.